welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Crack lacking. All right, Jonas, I'm starting it off today. Do it. I, I consume a lot of media, I guess. Um, my media job. Media boy. I, I do. I work, I work night shift. Um, surprise, surprise to the pod. And uh, I listen to podcasts a lot. Now there's uh there's one podcast that I I listen to and uh I'll go ahead and shout it out. It's actually T Pain's podcast. Oh, T Pain? Yeah. How, how many songs can you write about a booty? Is that it, what it's called? It, no, it is not. But it's, it's what it should be called. It's actually called Nappy Boy Radio. Nappy Boy Radio. <laughs> yeah. So okay. so he has a bit that he does on every single podcast. He had uh he had Chance the rapper on just recently, but he has a bit that he does on every we podcast. We should have Chance on. Oh, yeah, we I mean, if we if people just have chance on their podcast, you know, why not? Anyway, we're so. basically Ti, right? I mean, Ti. What, what's his name? T Pain. T Pain. Yeah, same, same thing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but he has a bit that he does where he says, "You can have, you have. There's a button put in front of you, and you can tap this button. Somebody's going to die." When oh, you the, hit bo- that, the whole some, box scenario. Yeah, somebody's going to die when you hit this button. You have no idea who this person is. But when you tap the button, you get any tangible thing that you want. Yeah, there was a movie about this. Okay, fine, sure, thing. You get any tangible thing you want, but if you don't tap the button, then I die, Jonas. What do you choose? Like you personally? Yes, you kill me so if someone you don't dies hit the regardless. button. Yeah, because some, some people will be like, I don't want to hit the button. Well, guess what, Jonas? If you don't hit the button, I die. Oh, then I'm if you, if you a do, not get what I want. Okay, so what, what one thing do you want that is worth another person's life? It's more worth you not dying. Whatever. You're still killing another person. Yeah, so you better I, make it good. You I'm better not say, I want a ham so sandwich. You don't die. That's it. Yeah, well, you better not say, I want a ham sandwich and somebody just died out there for it. Better be something good. Make it something good. I want a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> Money's out of the question. Can't be money. I want a big ass diamond. A big ass diamond. That I can sell for money. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going to sell a diamond for? You don't know any jewel- jewelers that want, can even afford it. I want something, whatever's worth the most money that I can sell. That's what I want. <laughs> no, it has to be something. To, look, you're cheating. Oh, am I? You're cheating. Yes, we, like need you. we need you to come up with something better than that. The genie infinite wishes. What did Chance want? Uh, I think he wanted like a uh, world peace or like I was gonna a, say, a children's do, hospital can I do or something. World peace? Yeah. No, you can't do world peace. Can I end hunger? You could say that you want food in everybody's refrigerator around the world. Oh, I don't have to just get it for myself. No, it's it's genie rules, so it's like whatever you want. But if you say I just want money, then he's gonna give you a dollar. I mean, I would be very specific about the amount of money that I wanted. <laughs> you can't choose money. That's too easy. Everybody's going to be like, oh, that's my money. I want a gold balloon worth $12 billion. <laughs> uh, I would. You can't make anybody fall in love with you either. That's cheating too. Oh. And creepy. I mean, yeah. It's like, like I just want Jennifer Aniston your... to be my wife. Enslaving like, yeah. them into your love potion. <laughs> I just want her to love me forever. That's all. Isn't that too much to ask? Right. Um, for for I me, I think it would be like uh, I want the ability to read minds, Jonas. Oh, we can even take abilities. That's I mean, not. A, why you not? said a tangible thing. That's well, not tangible. I'm allowed in any to way, shape, I'm, a, or form. I'm allowed to cheat because nobody asked me. Oh well, I'm asking you now. You no, uh, I want you already, abilities too, bro. You want what superpowers do you want? Then I would like to be able to read minds too. Well, you can't choose mine. That's cheating. I would like to be able to. What? Well, yeah. What would I like to do? I would like to be able to go invisible. Okay, so that's fair. Creepy. What's the first? Yeah, I don't basically, know. if I'm reading minds, I'm gonna or, go into the bank and take a bunch of that. <laughs> basically, it means to it all comes back to money with you. Well, I mean, I just want to be financially stable. I mean, because I, I then I can live my life free freely. I heard somebody tell me is that once you have about fifty thousand dollars in the bank, okay, then you're financially stable. Is that true? I don't know. I'd like to know your thoughts on this. Um, <laughs> you think that's a, a high number? Well, like, I mean, I don't think that's unreasonable because I think, I think when you have any sort of money like that in the bank, yeah, it, it takes a lot of pressure off of you. It does because like things could go to hell, and with fifty k in the bank, you're you're all right. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you could literally not work for, like, a whole year and be okay. Exactly. Like, if you lost your job, you would not have to work. Or, like, your car breaks down. You could buy a brand new car. Yep. You could or at least pay off enough so you have a monthly payment of, like, 60 mm-hmm. bucks a month. You know, if, you get a super small loan. If whatever. you got sick, had to go in the hospital for a year, you're still good, and you can probably pay off the hospital bills. Or right, I wouldn't even right, say exactly. you, a year, but, like, um, a, a week or so. I'm trying to think, like, yeah, what amount would be... I mean, even if you had 20K in the bank, you'd probably feel goddamn secure. Okay. And I, I I tend to agree. I tend to agree. Um, I don't but, think it takes 50K, but this was... I mean, you know. but at what, okay. At what point do you go from... Fee- I mean, this could be like investments, too. You don't have mm-hmm. to just have the money in your bank. Like, I mean, like the worth that you could get the money if you had to, right? Mm-hmm. What At what point does it become from like, I'm financially secure to like... I'm affluent. I wouldn't say affluent, but like I'm rich, bitch. Not even rich, bitch. But like, <laughs> it, at what point does that become even like like you say? Oh, I'm I'm good. To where like the worry just completely goes away, and you're just like I'm oh, good. I would say the worry would completely go away if I had like a couple million in the bank. I feel like even if you had like fifty k in the bank, you still got to be worried because that's not. We still got to work. Like, yeah, you can't just, like, quit your job because you have $50,000. Yeah, like, that's that's you're good. Like, I'd be cool. I feel like, honestly, right now, I'm at that point. And I ain't got 50K in the bank at all. You're like, I feel feel like I'm not. Well. How much money you got in the bank, Jones? Let's tell everybody. Tell everybody. You're lying, Jones. Tell everybody how much you have. Go open your bank statement right now. $7.58. What if I look you up on the internet with (laughs) it? Type your real name in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like Chase it, Bank Jonas. Chase. It just brings up all my my social everything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, dude, it's like you know. But like, so say you had a hundred k or two hundred k. Like, does yeah. that make it better, or does it once you hit like twenty? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, better. no. What I mean is, if you have twenty k or yeah. you have like a hundred k, yes. Do you feel there's a difference in that? Because you said uh, I wouldn't yes. feel super secure till millions of dollars there's eighty thousand dollars difference in that yes i feel like yes eighty thousand dollars more security (laughs) (laughs) but what do you but what what how do how are you different okay so i've heard people say this before it's like uh people said like okay so you're a millionaire you say you have ten million dollars are you really leading that much of a different lifestyle from a person who has fifty million dollars if you have ten million, probably it's like probably not. Pr- probably not because most of it's just going to be in investments or assets. Like you have houses, you have cars, you have jewelry, whatever yeah. you have. And it's like you're all, you're as a person with fifty million dollars versus a person with ten million dollars. Hey, you're both going to the same Morocco. You're both going to the same hotels. You're both going to the same uh d- just destinations. You both probably have a private jet that takes you there. It's probably a nice private jet. Yeah, maintaining it is a little bit of a deal, but if you ten million dollars, fifty million, maintaining it, it's not an issue. Right, right. You know, so yeah. it's like, are they really leading? You're both flying first class, the same first class. You know, it's like, is there really a difference? I don't know. So I, I kind of get what you're saying. It's like, is there really that much of a lifestyle difference between twenty, twenty thousand, and fifty thousand? Right, or a hundred. Because it's like, yeah, like if, if you're saying yeah, like, oh, do you have, when you have so. 50 or you have a million, yeah, that's that's a big difference. 50,000 yeah, yeah, to a yeah, million yeah, dollars, yeah. that's a big difference. Yeah. But like, it's like, even if you have, yeah, like 50K in the bank, you're like, you're not going to stop working. Yeah. But you're yeah. going to feel like, a, like there's like a pressure off your chest. I feel like if I had $50 million, I would work less. 50 million if i had 50 million dollars you probably wouldn't work at all you would just you would do you would probably at that point when you have that much money you essentially just like you start your own company and you go in when you want and you oversee and you do whatever i feel like a 10 million dollar person is going to say the same thing yeah you're like i'm not working (laughs) 10 million dollars in the bank that's enough for me and my kids forever the problem i have though is if i had 10 million dollars I would have to do something. I couldn't just sit around all day every day. I, like whether it, even whether it's charity, whether it's something like even just like traveling the world nonstop, you wouldn't. You would have to foot the bill for everyone because not everyone does has that kind of money. So you can't like just have your friends come along. They gotta mm-hmm. work. Mm-hmm. Like if you're if like if all of a sudden tomorrow I had fifty million dollars. I mean, first off, you'd be you'd be good. But like, but like 
if I was just like, hey, couch man Pete, let's take two weeks off and go to Monaco. He's like, I can't take the time off and I can't afford that. Right. So it's like if you want people to come with you on your lifestyle adventures, you have to pay because yeah. they can't just do it. it. Like, Yeah, that's fair. Like it's Jonas, let's go to Japan and tape it as a special for the channel. Um, we'll tape our experience. Tape the experience, like, and then we'll make like a little, a little video vlog. Gonna be a montage. <laughs> Let's go to Japan. I'm breaking them down. I've been trying to get this man to say yes to Japan for a while. I know he has the money now. He's not a fifty thousand air. <laughs> I doubt if you're a ten thousand air, but you might be. And I, I mean, think it, like uh, a trip to Japan, you're probably gonna, like. I mean, we're, we get an episode, but like probably just the flight is going to be at least probably fifteen hundred bucks at the minimum. What that mean? You, but I mean, what I'm saying is like change. your 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 Japan trip is going to be like five thousand dollars probably. How do you? Th I'm not going to Japan and spending uh the two thousand dollars. I think you would be dollars. surprised how fast. It adds up to travel I'm not overseas. spending two thousand dollars in Japan. I would go to Japan fifteen hundred dollars probably round trip, and then I would probably spend like maybe six hundred. Yeah, when but I'm you gotta there. stay somewhere the whole time you're there too. I would probably and hotels uh, and stuff are not cheap. I mean, spend two hundred dollars a night for seven nights or seven hundred bucks. That's probably not even. That's probably super hole in the wall. Yeah, so, so I mean, yeah. you're probably going to spend 200 bucks a night for a decent hotel, 1400 bucks, another 1400 bucks for the flight minimum. They're at 3k without spending one dollar. I don't. Know. I still think you're over overpricing it a little bit here, but I'll look into it. <laughs> I'll look into it here. In All right. Anyways, go to crazytown.com if you know how much it costs to travel overseas. Let us know. Uh, for Jonas, TNT. Oh yeah.